Hi everybody, I'm Ashley with DAV and um, I'm here today joined by DAV Past National Commander Dave Riley. Uh, Dave is a former Coast Guard rescue swimmer, um, real adrenaline junkie, he can, he can tell you more about that. Um, he's been a uh, past uh, DAV Outstanding uh, Disabled Veteran of the Year, um, but I wanted to bring Dave on today to talk a little bit about uh, gratitude while we're all kind of facing this COVID situation together and we're all um, isolated. We want to make sure we're reaching out to our fellow veterans, um, checking in on folks. Um, and I have a special reason for wanting to check in on Dave today. But Dave, I'd like to um, just give you the, the floor for a second and, and have you tell us a little bit about your backstory and, and who you are. Sure. Yeah. Um, so I was uh, uh, at Army and then Coast Guard, uh, a rescue swimmer is, uh, in the helicopters in the Coast Guard for 17 years um, and uh, got a bacterial infection through my sinuses uh, from the water uh, down here in Mobile, Alabama while I was in. Um, turned septic and uh, lost my limbs to gangrene. Uh, that was in like 97. And uh, so um, since then, you know, the VA sent me to my co to, to college. I got my bachelor's and master's in computer science, and really had uh, uh, the the dream, living the dream with my own company and everything. But you know, uh, depression is so insidious that uh, about oh eight, it finally caught up with me. And uh, so, local DAV chapter saw I was having problems and uh, set me up to go to the Winter Sports Clinic in Aspen, Colorado. And uh, that turned my life around. Uh, you know, that's when I decided to be more towards veteran issues and uh, uh, to get away from, uh, you know, trying to run a business. Uh, you know, uh, it, uh, it's been a, a great uh, ride since then, you know, being uh, National Disabled Veteran of the Year in 2008 and then uh, going uh, through the line uh, and, you know, through the local uh, through Alabama's uh, chain of command, uh, uh, commander in Alabama, and then uh, about five years later, uh, national commander, uh, where I got to return to the Winter Sports Clinic as as the commander, and uh, <clears throat> really has helped my my life uh, immensely. Just being associated with DAV and what they've uh, come in into my life and did, uh, you know, really they say a lifetime of support and. They have, you know, I would have never thought I would be turning 60. <laughs> but, uh, well, go so, ahead. so Dave, I mean, and that is the, that is the, um, the big surprise here is that, um, today is Dave's 60th birthday. And, um, I think when we talk about, um, all these hardships that we're all facing and going through right now, it's important to kind of, um, remember that it's not all negative and that there are a lot of things to be grateful for. There are a lot of things to be positive about. Um, how old were you when, when you contracted the, um, 38, 38. So, yes. so you've had some time to think about, you know, what could have been, um, and what is now. So I'm curious now you're, you know, here you are turning 60. Was there a point at which you didn't think you'd, you'd make it here? Oh, many times, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, it really, uh, changed my life when the DAV came into it, you know, just the camaraderie of fellow, fellow vets and, and being around, uh, you know, all over the country and meeting all, all the vets and, uh, and, uh, you know, just being involved, uh, you know, they, they got me off the couch and they got me doing things and, uh, you know, it's, I would have never thought the, the life I have now would have been possible back when I first became disabled, you know, uh, now, you know, now I'm sitting in my own RV, uh, down at the campground, uh, trying to stay away from everybody, but, uh, uh, you know, it's still a, a great life, uh, that, that, um, uh, I was provided and, uh, that, uh, all the things that I was exposed to over the years as both. The National Disabled Better of the Year and National Commander. Um, it really has been a, a great ride, uh, you know, much better than I would have ever thought when I first lost my land. Is there 
a message in there that you would share with your fellow veterans? I mean, it, it's easy to overlook a lot of the positive things that are um, in our lives right now. And I think it's important that we, we focus on that. I mean, it's hard. A lot of us are home with, with young kids. We're trying to balance work. We're trying to balance all these things and it, it's tough, but um, is there a message that you would send out to your fellow veterans, something that you'd want to say to, to give them a little boost? Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, uh, uh, the, the thing that comes to mind for me is this too shall pass. You know, uh, this, this will all be, uh, wrapped up and I, yeah, it might be a different world on the other side, but, uh, you know, I think, uh, we're still going to have great lives. And, uh, people are going to be able to go along, you know? So, uh, I would say to the vet that's, that's watching this, that's, you know, on the couch, uh, uh, and getting a little dismayed and uh, all the stuff going on is that this will be, this will, this will pass that, you know, that, uh, things will be better. Uh, on the other side and to never give up you know uh, you never know who's going to come into your life and change it you know I think that uh, just keep the faith and uh, you know we'll be we'll be okay <laughs> now Dave are you uh, are you doing anything particularly special for your birthday anything to mark such a, a big milestone no I they opened the pool up here at the campground so I might actually go in the pool finally <laughs> But, uh, you know, I, I've just, uh, you know, I got the RV and, and COVID hit right after I got it. So I haven't really been able to take any trips yet. I'm looking forward to, uh, I'm supposed to go turkey hunting uh, last week, but they had all the tornadoes in Alabama. So that got rescheduled with the first. So looking to maybe take off uh, on the 30th and uh, go, go do some uh, uh, turkey hunting. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Anything else you wanna you wanna throw out there, Dave? Anything else? The floor is yours. Oh, well, thank you, Ashley. I, I mean, it, uh, I just look back on all the things that uh, we have been involved with, and all places that have gone with DAB, and uh, they 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 really have ensured that uh, I was able to continue in a good life. And uh, I want to thank uh, DAB for being involved in my life and in. in being involved with all the other vets out there you know uh, there's always somebody that you can talk to so just reach out when you get bored on the couch <laughs> yeah i think that that's a great point i mean there's there's lots of folks out there lots of vets we all have friends from that we served with we have people that we can reach out to we're very connected socially it's a great time to just get out there get on you know a, a social platform or a, a video platform and and reach out um Dave, as always, it's wonderful to chat with you. I hope things keep, you know, looking up. I'm glad you have, finally have a chance to use your RV soon. And, um, you know, happy birthday. Just enjoy every bit of it. And uh, we'll chat soon. Thank you, Ashley. Thanks. Take care, Dave.